Hi everybody, how are you doing? Hopefully you're doing fine. This is Pamela from Pamela's Butterfly Life coming to you with a story time. On Monday, I talked about food addiction and my addiction uh, to food. And I want to kind of follow that up with a little story time. So years ago, I was in Chicago and uh, I was studying in Chicago in undergrad and a group of us went to uh, Giordano's Pizza, deep dish pizza. You know, if you're um, from the Windy City or if you've been to Chicago a few times, you know, the big rivalry, the big restaurant, deep dish uh, rivalry is between Giordano's and Lou Bonatti's. Well, I'm a Giordano's girl, was a little cheese. So uh, who is the person that can eat four deep dish pizzas? I can. So on this particular night, I ate three deep dish pizzas and they're kind of looking at me a little bit strange. I didn't get it. So one deep dish pizza I wanted to take. I was just determined to take this one deep dish pizza home. Like what? Who does that? But okay. So I was taking the train back from Chicago to, to Detroit and I got, I love my mama very much. So I got her uh, this little like glass porcelain elephant from, uh, from Chinatown. And on top of the suitcase was her glass elephant. I don't know why it wasn't, I didn't have anything like bubble wrap around it. And my slice of pizza. Now my slice of pizza is already like um, protected. It has like aluminum foil or saran wrap. Long story short, my uh, suitcase, my suitcase like it, it, um, it was falling. And in that moment, I knew that my mom's elephant was gonna break. However, I risked it all to save that pizza. So I actually let my mama's elephant break just so I can grab the pizza. And I knew then, ooh, something ain't right. So do I feel bad about that? Here it is years later. I still feel bad about that. Uh, of the fact that I let my mama's little beautiful elephant crash to the ground because I did not want to risk my Giordano's deep dish pizza. So what I struggle with in food addiction doesn't necessarily mean that you struggle with. And just because, you know, you eat, you know, Super Bowl and you had, you know, 20 wings. Um, but if, if you have any addiction, you know, obviously it's, you know, it's hard to deal with. Um, but if you find yourself, like I said, eating... Um, just a lot of food or you think about it constantly and it, it interrupts your life and your social life with your family then that could be a problem so with my journey I'm just trying to keep everything everything together because um, when I was in this picture 275 pounds um, I knew that I had an issue with food so I'm just really happy that I'm in a, obviously a better place and it takes time so just um, just you know whatever you're going through just know that you can come out of it on top because you know, you are beautiful and always remember that. And also, always remember that, of course, you are beautiful and deserve to be in a healthy body. I come with you um, every Monday and Friday with new content. So have an awesome, awesome day and make it beautiful, make it count and live your life to the fullest. Until I see you again. All right, bye. <laughs>